Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rachel Davis. Um, today's video is about expenses when you're starting your own personal training business. And I'm talking about you're the sole proprietor or LLC, it's your own business. You're not an independent contractor, you know, working in other gyms or other businesses. This is your own business. And I have four main monthly expenses, things that I did not want to go the free route, things that I spend my money on that are worth it. So in Facebook groups all the time, I see trainers asking, what's the best free app to do this? Or what's the best free blah, blah, blah. No one wants to spend money on things. They want to find everything for free. And you got to spend money to make money. You have, there's just some things you have to invest in in order for your business to do well and for you to grow and for you to kind of look more legitimate. So number one, I mean, I think this goes without saying, but number one is your insurance, your personal training insurance. So before I even get into that, the one suggestion I wanted to make is get a credit card that's specifically for business expenses. You could put all this on the credit card and then pay it off monthly just you know, don't get too overwhelmed with it. So number one thing, maybe you should get a credit card for business expenses only. That's what I do, Every, all this goes on my credit card for my business. Number one, insurance, uh, I go through next. It's, I wanna say $16 a month. So you need it, you need that, you need it. So I go through next, you can go through wherever you want, just you know, see what you're looking for, see what you need, what type of coverage. I went with the highest available, I think two million and it's still only $16 a month. So the next one is a website. I decided to get a website. Do you need a website? No, um, I decided to get a website again, to look more legitimate. I have a studio that's, you know, kind of in my home. Um, so I just, I wanted to look more professional and legitimate and I also wanted to sell things on my website for passive income. Now I'm going to make a video about that later. That's going to be my next video, passive income for trainers, but I wanted a website to just be able to reach more people and the way my brand is going, I'm thinking about the, the bigger picture where I want to be in five years. So I wanted to start building that website up now. I'm selling some workout programs on there, my blog, um, mailing lists, all of that. So again, I chose to get a website. Now I went through Wix and I took my time creating and building my website. So I took my time. I didn't start paying for it right away. I waited and I, I worked on it and I, I didn't upgrade yet. I didn't get my domain yet until I was ready. And if you wait, Wix will send you promotional emails for 50% off everything. So start building your website, wait for those emails to come in. Don't hop on the opportunity as soon as they send it. Wait till you're ready. Wait till you have the money to do it because those emails will come in like maybe once a week or every two weeks. So they'll keep sending you those 50% off emails. So start building your website. When you have the finances to go ahead and pull the trigger, wait till that 50% off promo comes in and go for it. Now I also, there's a lot of upgrades you can do. Um, you can get your own mailbox. You can, you can do the billing through Wix, Wix payments. That's an extra monthly fee. Um, so it just depends on what you want to do. Again, the website is optional, but I don't pay for my monthly, I paid for it annually, but the other add-ons are a monthly fee. So that's what I do. The next one, this is my favorite app that I use. It's a scheduling app. So I use Vagaro and it's very similar to MindBody, if anyone's familiar with MindBody, but you know how expensive and pricey MindBody is. So I go through Vagaro, it's about $25 a month. I'm able to schedule all my clients and it sends out their reminders, which is the main reason I wanted it. Again, to look more professional, my clients get their text or email reminders. They can confirm, so it's really helpful to me and it's really helpful to them and it helps me stay organized. So I highly recommend it. Now I know maybe there's some free stuff, free options out there, 
But again, those text reminders are just great and my clients really appreciate them. So that is an expense I am more than happy to pay monthly because I love the app. Um, and this is just for me, the, prices go, the price goes up if you have multiple um, people working for you, but this is just me, I'm just one person, so it's $25 a month. And then the last thing that I spend monthly income on is a training platform app. I go through Trainerize. Um, I don't do too much online training now, but I like the billing options on there and I like that I can give my clients extra work to do, but there's also some passive income opportunities and online training opportunities through that. So there's a whole bunch of different platforms, Trainerize and then True Coach is another one, PT Distinction. Not familiar with any of the other ones, only familiar with Trainerize but I have about 15 client seats on my app, the, the plan I chose, and it's $40 a month. But then I also do some billing through there as well. I mean, that's, I, I don't remember how much that is. It's probably $7 a month. But if you only have a couple clients, then it's not as much. So it goes up with how many client seats you have. So that is one of my final larger monthly expenses. I'm sure there's other little things here and there, but my reoccurring billing is um, my insurance, some add-ons on my website, my, my scheduling app, and my training platform. So it just makes my life a little easier, and it also brings in some, some streams of income that I wouldn't be able to have if I didn't have these these apps or these these platforms. So in the end, it it is a big help and it's worth it. So yeah, you can find some of those options for free, um, but it's going to be more work for you in the end. It's gonna take away from your free time. It's gonna cut in, it's gonna add more work for you. So in my opinion, I would rather have some extra free time and then pay a little bit of money for for these things. So that those are pretty much my main expenses right now. I, I'm not sure what they add up to, but again, everything goes on my credit card. And then when I have some extra money, I make a larger payment on my credit card or I just, you know, pay a little bit more than the monthly minimum payment. So again, you want your life to be easier. You want to look more professional. You want to be more legitimate Then I highly recommend doing these things. If you have any further questions or you, you want some recommendation on things, feel free to reach out. And I hope you like this video. I hope you guys are doing well and have a great day.